a pen, my IC, my phone, and my mask. Vaccination day, let's go! So when I was driving here, uh, I actually saw that there's quite a lot of uh, people actually uh, right outside at the entrance of the car park. And now I'm just going to walk and I'll show you all in a bit. COVID-19 vaccination center right ahead. Right, so I'm going to walk through the car entrance as opposed to getting the car park entrance to the top just to avoid uh, being in a closed area. So I'm just following the signs now to the vaccination centre. This was the uh, entrance that I drove in. Yeah, I can see people walking towards the vaccination centre. I'm at the World Trade Centre Kuala Lumpur's vaccination centre. So mostly the guards will just check uh, to make sure that you are on the date of the vaccination and then you are allowed in. Uh, so now I'm just going to head to my station and queue up from there. Right. I'm in station 1 and the first uh, QR code scan to register your attendance. Oh, it actually looks quite nice. The entrance with the world map logo. Taking temperature as well. And this is the entrance. So after another one more scan for the PPV, the vaccine center, uh, we were assigned to our station, station one. We're supposed to go up the escalator, so. up two escalators it's pretty smooth so far uh, not as crowded as what I've seen from the outside very manageable this sensor oh there are more arts so if you are waiting, queuing it's really interesting to actually look at it as well because how often do you come to the World Trade Center? That's one of the reasons why I'm actually vlogging today. Uh, so apart from a historic event, it's also because of visiting the World Trade Center. It's pretty interesting. So I'm going to go to my station here. This is the consent form that we're supposed to answer. So we just sit down here, socially distance, before we wait for our numbers to be called. After filling the form, now I'm going to walk to another hall. They are following, walking accordingly to our station. More portraits and pictures along the way. And now some of our previous Prime Ministers. Great markers, social distancing. This is the vaccination area, so just now we just had like a consultation section with the doctor in-house. So yeah, quite nervous. Right now I'm waiting for my time to get vaccination. So apparently they say there's no videography inside. I'll see you after the vaccination. With the shot, now I'm going to go for my observation time. Uh, so, as, as one was mentioned earlier, it's uh, 30 minutes. Right now, I am in the observation area waiting check whether there's any uh, reaction or any side effect and uh, waiting for the card that I would get uh, after getting this vaccination. So after the uh, waiting area to check for any side effects or symptoms, uh, we will be given this card to keep and make sure we bring it 
in our next uh, appointment with the uh, COVID-19 vaccination. So once if you're already finished with your time for observation, you can actually leave. So I'm gonna head out. And there is the exit. All right, and this is the picture ticking booth. Just to mark your day that you took your vaccination. Exit. Follow the exit. So at the exit, there's also some F and B on sale. So if you want to get something to eat, grab something after your vaccination. There's 1901. Seems that's to be the only one that's open, but I'm not sure whether the ice cream is open or not. All right, and so here marks the end of my first dose vlog here in the World Trade Center for the AstraZeneca vaccination. If there's any side effects uh, that I experienced, I'll let you know in my next vlog. Uh, so stay tuned. Remember to take care, stay safe, and we can do this. If you like what you watch, please hit like, share, and subscribe.